could she offer me? She could be in the community, but at which point I'm not meeting her in a random bar, we know each other. I met a random fool the other day on woomi.com because they forced us to do some PR stuff. And I met this random female tour that lives in New York. We had a 30 second speed date together because it was staged. And at the end of it, I was like, hey, you know what? We should totally stay in touch. Maybe, you know, email each other's lists about each other and let people know about the other one. She went, okay, and network with her. I had a real legitimate reason to. But a random chick in a bar? Who, but if, what do you do in a, in a bar? Dude, your I friends are, Your friends are getting <laughs> on Dude, girls and what do you I, do? I can, for me, I can tell you, AFC Adam goes in a bar, Every dude in there is like, man, how do I pick up this chick? My night is full of helping guys pick up chicks. Yeah, but in general, like, we're not AFC at all. The girl walks up to you and says, hi. I say, hey. And then I keep having the conversation. Like, for example, right? At my wedding, I, um, Amanda got, she got a little bit ill, she went yeah, to bed early. Yeah, I can't imagine that. All right. Amanda, no, she got a headache, she went to bed early. I was out with my two best friends in the world. Two great guys who are not boys, right? So they're not coming up to me, Adam, who pick up chicks. They're just hanging out with me. A completely random chick walks up to me and she goes, hey, I love your hair, um, which is how every girl seems to open me. So I'm like, hey, yeah, thanks very much. Nice to meet you. I like yours too. She goes, oh, it's just blonde. I'm like, and I can see. And then she's, uh, she sits and she talks at us for a while. And I'm being polite. I'm not like getting rid of her. But I'm not opening my body language to her. I'm not trying to impress my friends. I'm talking to my friends. And then I literally say to her, I'm sorry, honey. These are my two friends that I haven't seen in a long time. I want to yeah. chat to them. See you later, babe. Have a great night. And she goes, I'll see you around. I'm like, yeah, maybe. See you later. Because I came to the bar to talk to my friends. If my buddies call me up for a night out, I'm out with my buddies. Socializing and talking to random chicks is a puller thing. It's not a buddy thing. I go out with my mates. We have a drink down the bar. We sit and laugh and chat. We play some fruit machines. We wind each other up. We play practical jokes on people. We're not there. We don't go, hey dude, let's just hit the bar. Alright, now let's scatter. I'm going to do 10 steps this way. <laughs> you do 10 steps that way. And then we'll meet in the middle and confirm how many numbers we got and see if we got the same chick. That's not normal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the bar. I'm just trying to show you AFC Adam. Give it up for AFC Adam. Uh, <laughs> That's AFC fucking Adam.
natural. The other person doesn't uh, get involved in the conversation. The conversation dies. Asking them questions thrills them, and the conversation dies. The aim is to make carefully thought out statements in response to what they're saying. And, and we literally teach how to do that on the campus. It's very easy, but if you've never done it, maybe not so. But it, it's a very simple thing to do. It's a very easy process. But yeah, you don't need routines. And ironically, routines make it harder. The, the principle of following routines means that one day you will run out. If you don't use them in the first place, you'll never need them. Yeah. Where do you see the community going? What direction do you see the community going? You really want to know? Yeah. You guys, my, my honest opinion of what's going to happen is going to split in two. There's going to be a whole bunch of people that end up becoming... Uh, you, guys, you guys don't know this. Um, right now, very few people have actually registered the term dating phone. I checked it out the other day randomly. I went online for some URLs and I registered datingcoachreview.com. It was available. Pickupreview.com, not available. Pickup artist review, not available. PUA review, not available. PU artist review, not available. PUAs have saturated the PUA community. Dating coach, fuck it out there. The community's gonna split. Half are, are gonna go mainstream. And you're gonna see a bunch of guys that are like, the community's fucking weird. I want to learn about dating, but I don't want to have a hat. It's already um, happening. It's so already I'm, gonna, happened, I'm yeah. gonna be a dating coach. Barry Kirk. Yeah. Yep, that's one. Yeah, yeah the, the other half are gonna stay pick up weird. And that is literally what's gonna happen between the two. And it is starting, like, like my, my main website is nothing to do with pick up. It's all about traction and understanding and that kind of stuff. And I'm employed by a, a pick up artist company because there's a lot of customers there. You know, at the end of the day, we run a business with a lot of customers to pick up community. But we're seeing them shift. More and more people turn up on my boot camps. I've actually tell my instructors off. Because they're like, you know in the game when Neil Strauss does this? And I get like half my customers go, say the what? Half of our customers don't even know what the game is anymore. That was 2003, man. We're in 2009. The world's changed. It's changed. They could talk about VH1, the pickup artist on TV, but most of them will be like, well, that's a weird show. It's nothing like this, is it? Yeah. What, what do you think about like layers and stuff like that also? There are, again, two types of layers. You've got some types of layers that grow rapidly, and those kind of layers really are the ones that are going more mainstream. Look at uh, Casanova Crew. Yeah. Um, they're doing a really good job of being a bit more normal. And they're in LA, which is saying something, because they have a lot of the weird guys there, but they really are making it very normal. That's, they're doing a good job. Then you've got other communities where the layers are really tight. I went to one layer. It's falling apart. They've got maybe 12 active members. They meet up in some dude's house, in his front room, they all huddle around and share stories. Oh man, I totally banged this chick. And I'm like, it's completely different, there's no organization. They'll grow, the, the layers will grow or die. And, and I think that the movement for the layer, I, I think realistically the movement for the layers should be, you guys start organizing internal events. Um, because they're cheaper, because there's a wealth of knowledge amongst you um, that can be used, and I think that's where it should go. I, I genuinely think that. Thank you. Yeah. Do you teach women? And if so, what do you teach women? I do teach women. I do teach women. But, but, uh, do you teach women? And if so, what do you teach them? I do teach women. But they don't pay. Okay. Because most women don't want to pay. Uh -huh. yep. Because they don't think they have a problem meeting guys because they meet them a lot. Their big problem is keeping the guys. But at that point, they're usually in a relationship, and they don't want to admit they're the problem. So it's kind of a unique thing. I haven't cracked making a play. Um, and I don't know if I want to. Um, you know, maybe one day, who knows? What I teach them is exactly the same as for men. I teach both the same. It's the same shit works both ways. Attraction is attraction is attraction. Fuck, they found me. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> next question. Thank you. 